obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the veils killed? I never said he killed the veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. some other business I need to take care of. The city is still reeling from an explosion Mayor Harvey Dent set off that obliterated an entire city block and killed innocents. When questioned about his extreme measures, Mayor Dent said he'll use any force necessary to take down the children of Arkham.
commissioner. And they can't hold out much longer.
target snipers, two of them. Get the drones online. I'll see what I can do. I wasn't sure you'd come. You weaseled your way out of the death you deserve. Like a coward. I came to help my friend, Harvey. I don't want your help. I want you dead. That is the sickness talking. And I know you're in there somewhere, Harvey. <laughs> Wait. What am I saying? I'm trying to fight it, Bruce, but I can't. Bruce, I only ever wanted to help Gotham. Now look at me. I can't stop him. He's stronger than I am. I've known you a long time, Harvey. You are stronger than your demons. I could always count on your friendship, Bruce. And so, what happened with Selina? This city needs to be purged of people like you! All of you! Traitors! Terrorists! If cops who don't take their mayor's orders! Harvey, don't! This is the only way to clean up this cesspool! DA the city ever had. Someone who fought for people's dreams. So much for a safer Gotham. You're right. This isn't me. Go. Go. Get away. I would let them all go, but it's not up to me. Doctors. Yeah. 
I'm sure, Bruce. <laughs> they can't stop him. No one can stop him.
was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? That's not. Unless. Hold on. security system can be accessed from here and remotely controlled. If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network. All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham. It's completely gone. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the bad computer can decode. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? surprise here, Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. His background is completely fabricated. He was enrolled at Cambridge. Ridiculous. Calm down, Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. Oswald manipulated my records as well. It would appear your degree was in... Sociology and my medical records. There are some well, but colorful diseases. Annoying, but not hard to fix. Ah, oh, that's better. certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return, it appears. Also explains how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. Oswald was using Wayne money to arm them. Oswald was, was trying to buy an island. What on earth for? I think he was using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place some kind of tourist attraction. He was going to call it Falcone Island. We need to figure out Lady Arkham's next move. Of course. Oswald manipulated Vicky's records. 
the back of you should be able to... There. No more holds. She was looking into Arkham patients. Reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. She was trying to figure out who was actually sick and who was committed because of Hill, Falcone, and my father. Vicky was digging deep. Gotham City Records, Freedom of Information Requests, posted conspiracy forums. All to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. We're onto something. Vicky wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. Without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. Speaking of... Is it Lady Arkham? No, it's one of Lucius's prototypes. On the move. What? But Lucius locked everything away. Well, he needed a better lock. our doors to her. After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, I know, Bruce, but why would she do this? Is she that cold-hearted? That selfish? She must have her reasons. I'm sure she does. Computer visual. The prototype she stole. It's an electronic skeleton key. With it, you can bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. That key is far too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands, especially with Lady Arkham still at large. Get the car ready, Alfred. And Alfred, let Lucius know what's happening. I'm going to get some answers from Selena. Expecting you. Thought I'd make it outside the city limits at least. I trusted you, and you stole from me. Don't take it so personally. Besides, we both know you're not here because of hurt feelings, are you? I don't blame you for wanting it back. <laughs> I'm surprised you had a toy like this. No doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham, but the less noble options are so much more... exciting. Why should I give it back? So much potential. Just imagine what I'd be able to dig my claws into. That device is far too dangerous to be out in the world. If Lady Arkham got a hold of it, that blood would be on your hands. Wow, that's pretty dramatic, Bruce. Catch. You might be exaggerating, but I'd rather not take the chance. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't pretend you're not impressed. As long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. After that, it didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF. <laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. Imagine.
Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman, scourge of Gotham. So it was all just an act. Everything we'd done together. A lie. That's how it started. And now it's over. I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire, and I'm not gonna burn with it. If you were smart, you'd get out of here too. This town hates you. Hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. Do something more meaningful with those skills of yours. You don't need the money, but... But think of the fun. Gotham needs me. And I won't abandon the people of this city, no matter how they feel about me. After the way they've treated you, you've got one hell of a thick skin. You're gonna need it. It'll be good to put some distance between us. After all, look at what happened to Harvey. It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. Isn't that right? My copy of the Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some rule. Selena, I would never hurt you. Bruce, I... That's really sweet. But it brings us to the root of our problem, doesn't it? You're upset that I'm leaving. What'd you think? That one night of sex meant we were going steady. Is that what you really thought? I had fun, Selena. Didn't you? I'm all for fun, Bruce. But how long does this stay fun before you start wanting more? <sighs> Look, Bruce. I'll admit that what you and I had... It wasn't terrible. But you were just another job. A more... intriguing job than I was expecting. But still a job. And that job's done. I'm done with you. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. I told you that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. Stop. It's not true. I know there's more to you than that. You're just afraid to admit it. You'd like it if that were true, wouldn't you? Why would you even think that? pretty clear. Why aren't you listening? Because I love you, Selena. You, you barely know me. Bruce, if that's your idea of love, I feel sorry for you. Well, there's one good thing to come out of this. Now I know I'm sorry. You really are just like everyone else. Can't wait to get out of this place. Stay out of trouble, Selena, because if not, I will stop you. You can certainly try. Lucius, I've got the key. Uh, hold on, Alfred's on the line. Hey, Alfred, I... Bruce! Lady Arkham! She's here! I, I tried to keep them out, but... Alfred? Alfred! this 
wall or someone. Thank you. 
So Alfred grabs the nearest thing he uses as a weapon to defend himself. Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack, causing the rover to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it.
slide from this. No stop number. Let's go help pinpoint the neighborhood. These are all the homes serviced by this water heater company on the days and months listed.
she killed the Vales. They abused her. I'm not saying what she did was right, but... But... I can't imagine what she went through. The Vales' foster children may not have been the only ones to suffer here. I followed Alfred's blood into this hole. If he had any opportunity at all, he would have left me a clue. There are drawings. Vicky must have drawn them when she was a prisoner. The chunk here is different. Newer. Bloody scratches. Fingernails. Someone tried to climb out. Alfred? No.
This ends now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his people. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. No one's dying tonight. You really think you're in control here? <laughs> Your confidence is impressive. But that won't save the butler. Or the rest of Gotham. All this needs to be taught. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I don't care what you've been through. How long you spent in that hole. How many times they beat you. The only thing I care about is locking you up. For good this time. I see why you fight for the heartless people of this city. You're just like them. And you'll suffer the same fate. Your time's run out.
pleasure to see your work in person.
she went. She just dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. <laughs> Your turn. To prove 
to last week's events at Arkham Asylum. A spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's Reign of Terror. If the public knew the half of it, it's better that they don't. Any word from Miss Kyle? And I don't expect I'll be hearing from her anytime soon. Alfred, here, let, let me help. No, no, no. With everything that's been going on, I... I, uh, I haven't yet thanked you, Bruce. You've saved my life. I've no doubt Miss Vale would have killed me had you not arrived when you did. But the fact remains, in my state, I'm not of much use to you. It'll take time to adjust, and I'm afraid it may interfere with my butler duties. Without you, none of this would work. You are my family. You don't know how good it is to hear you say that after everything that's happened. I promise you, I will use everything at my disposal to help you. Oh. Well, sure. I mean, the silver's not going to polish itself, is it? <laughs> we will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. Gotham is safer now. I only hope the peace will last. We could all use some peace. To peace. The damage done by the children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is. And let them know what you plan to do for his future. This could be a first start. For you and for this city. Though, in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously, both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone that I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. has yet to invent a suit that will let Bruce Wayne and Batman in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Perhaps one is truly the mask. And one is who you truly believe you are.
will address the city for the first time in the wake of the terrorist attacks perpetrated by Lady Arkham. I, as acting police commissioner, Commissioner Gordon, it doesn't sound right. Batman! Is everything all right? I assume you're not here to give a speech. So, what is it? It's an important day. Your first address to the city as acting commissioner. I wanted you to know that I stand with you. I want Gotham to know that there are those who will fight for them. Oh, I'm glad you feel that way. The city's on edge. Tonight can make all the difference. You're one hell of an addition to this lineup. Gotham's best and brightest have turned out for this. I, mean, I know you're not a man of many words, but I'd like to say something to Gotham on your behalf. Is there anything you'd like them to know? Maybe about how you'd like to be seen moving forward? Tell them I'll work alongside you and the GCPD to protect Gotham. The criminals of this city will stand no chance against us. <laughs> now that they won't. You know, I always wanted this. To be commissioner someday. To have the chance to shape this. I should probably be used to that by now. Now, in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. Citizens is Batman. He'll work alongside the GCPD to lift Gotham out of these dark times. But I'm not only asking Batman and my officers to be heroes. I'm asking all of you, too. Let's got to be a city of heroes. Tonight, strong and hopeful.